Tracy is a Shabazz at the Greenhouse Residences at Bartram Park. Um, in her role, she is um, a certified nursing assistant, but she does a lot more than a typical CNA. So she assists our elders in the greenhouse with their ADLs. And in addition to that, she manages the cooking, housekeeping, laundry, and a huge part of living in a greenhouse home is meaningful engagement. So she is a key player in making sure that our elders at the greenhouse live their lives to its fullest. So there's so many things about Tracy that make her a star. Um, she has a unique ability to um, understand the needs of each of our elders, even for those that may not be able to communicate that. Um, she, she knows the little things that makes them happy. It might be the way they like their hair done, or their bed made, or the way they enjoy a shower. Um, or it might be that, that one elder loves dessert or loves taking walk outside. Um, she, she embodies a very joyful spirit, a very compassionate person. Um, she has this great upbeat attitude, uh, and I think all of those qualities uh, make her, uh, truly make her a star. So I remember this one um, time when our, an elder at the greenhouse um, passed away, and uh, Tracy was, was the first Shabazz that we hired. She had been there from the very beginning since this elder moved in, and we were all naturally very attached um, to that elder. And Tracy made it a point to go there, go to the family of, of um, this elder, and, and prepare the favorite meal that, that their mother used to love while she lived at the greenhouse. And that, I was so touched by it because it just showed how compassionate she is and how she develops those relationships not just with the elders she serves but with their families too and, and went above and beyond to be there for them in their time of need and, and to care for them. Part of the orientation process is that I pair them um, with a preceptor in, in the home so when I hire a new Shabazz they have someone that they can learn from who's been there um, and has the experience and Tracy has served as a peer mentor for new Shabazz as they come on board and that's been a tremendous asset um, for our home success. Um, she also um, exhibits the Brooks value of continuous learning. She was the first Shabazz to um, volunteer to go through the driver's education um, uh, training so that she can drive the shuttle bus. So we take all of our elders out on outings. A lot of the ideas for outings have come from Tracy um, and she and, and bless her soul, I don't know how she does it, but she manages to drive this big shuttle bus um, to the elders, uh, for, for the elders, to all our outings. And um, she's also been um, very active on the Greenhouse Model um, website and the Facebook page for Shabazim. And she's always exhibited this um, uh, an ability to, to learn new things about the model and pitch those ideas to me and the rest of the team. I think those are some, some of the values that she exhibits. Tracy, you're a star. So Kimmy Jasensky is the center manager at our West Side Clinic in the outpatient division. Uh, as center manager, she is responsible for hiring new employees and developing new uh, programs within, within her center. She's also responsible for the day-to-day -day financial operation of the center and ensuring that we give great customer satisfaction. So the thing that sets Kimmy apart as a star is the fact that of her service to the organization. And so I consider myself relatively tech savvy. I'm able to check my email on my cell phone. I can potentially play a game or two with my four-year-old, but that is nothing compared to the tech savviness that Kimmy has. So a couple years ago, Kimmy came to us and she suggested that the speech therapists in the outpatient division could use iPads to help enhance the patient experience um, in the outpatient clinics. And so at the time, of course, knowing a little bit about technology, you know, I encouraged her to do some research. Well, Kimmy went above and beyond. She researched it, she went to the Apple Store, she now has her own genius at the Apple Store. She, uh, in addition to researching it, she also figured out what we had to do for security. She did um, a whole bunch of research on determining which applications we should use or which apps we should select for the speech therapist to use. And so all of this service um, that she did towards the organization helped 
our speech therapists treat our patients more effectively. And so, but Kimmy didn't stop there, and, and that's typical of Kimmy, and that's why she's so great at service. She then went and worked with our learning department and developed um, several one to three minute videos about how to use the iPad, how to use all the different apps on the iPad. And so that allowed any speech therapist that comes into the organization to be able to go into the learning to Brooks University and watch all these small video clips and learn exactly how to use the iPad that they've been given, um, which just enhances our patient experience. And it's that type of service that really um, sets Kimmy apart. Kimmy also has great service when it comes to her staff, so she really cares um, that they are able to do their job in the most effective way. And so whether that means working with them to figure out time when they can do documentation or helping them with a, a patient situation that's come up in the clinic, um, she always gives them above and beyond service, and that's what makes her a star. Kimmy, you're a star. Jean Bellardi is our charge nurse in the fourth floor. Uh, that is the spinal cord injury neuro program. Jean is a bright star for us because he consistently promotes the values of Brooks. Since she joined Brooks uh, April of, 19, of 2008, she has been a role model for every nurse that she works with. She is one that uh, patients would love to be their assigned nurse, as well as she is the one that nurses and CNA wants to work with because she's very uh, helpful, she's very accommodating. There is always that top quality of care in her. Uh, she is also a co-facilitator for Nursing Education Council, which helps us a lot in terms of what the staff need in, in making sure that they are competent in providing this care that we get to give to our patient. And she only, she, she doesn't do that just for our floor, but of course for the whole hospital. Jean also, for the, uh, uh, for the last three years, every, every year, we celebrate Nurses Week on the second week of May. And spinal cord nursing for the last three consecutive years has been the uh, champion of Brooks Idol under Jean's uh, leadership. You can watch in YouTube how fun it was where the fourth floor nursing has really um, unitedly uh, participated for the uh, Nurses Week celebration. And that is because Jean was in the top of it. Also, Jean, I call her the uh, social, uh, social coordinator of our floor, which, of course, she believe is very important in terms of team building as well as uh, staff engagement. Also, Jean is uh, the team captain for our United Way campaign as well as our Heart Walk, and she just not doing it by herself also. She drug along her husband, Henry. And we are very grateful for that because for the last uh, year, few years that she has been the team campaign, we really has been very successful in our uh, hard walk in United Way campaign. So you watch for our next fundraising. She will be there asking you. <laughs> Jean, you are the superstar. Shauna's role at Brooks is a central intake coordinator. What she does is she fields phone calls and calls referrals. Uh, to get our patients scheduled for their physical, speech, or occupational evaluations. She um, calls the patients, puts them at ease, finds out where they want to go, what types of insurances they have, and she slots them with the right therapist for the right fit for their diagnosis. That's what she does. 
Shauna has an amazing ability to put uh, callers and patients at ease, um, whether they're internal or external customers. I get nothing but continual compliments on Shauna about how she is so thoughtful, how her um, ability to follow through with patients and the way her compassion shows through on the phone is just uncanny. It's, un it's something that is very hard to fake. It's so natural, it's so genuine, that it just makes everyone that talks to her fall in love with her. I said that's the one thing to me about Shauna that just sticks out is um, her uh, genuine uh, compassion for the caller. Regardless of what their need is, she is there and she follows through. Shauna has a thirst for knowledge. She wants to learn as much as she can in the department. Her primary role is scheduling, but she's chomping at the bit to learn how to do insurance verifications and authorizations. And it's um, sweet how she likes to go in and just dabble in the information and then beg for somebody to give her the feedback. I've never seen somebody so thirsty for the feedback and it's very refreshing to see someone who uh, really enjoys their job the way Shauna enjoys her job. Um, to pick a single value that Brooks had to say is probably her biggest attribute would be very difficult to do. Um, she uh, has so many that she represents, integrity, compassion, um, her continual thirst for wanting to learn and do things. I would have to say if I had to pick one, I would say it would be her, um, her compassion and then the integrity would be right there. I said she's always wanting to make sure that um, Brooks is represented in the best light possible, that um, she's done everything in her power. She continually asks me for feedback and wants to make sure that she's done everything in her power to make a, a situation better. Um, I commend her for that. She is an amazing asset for CIU. She uh, raises the bar for a lot of people and it's, it's uh, very refreshing and very comforting as a manager to know that you have somebody that has that type of uh, value in the work that they do. Shauna, you're so amazing. I'm so proud of you and you are a star. Marcia Moore is a clinical, a weekend clinical supervisor for Brooks Home Care Advantage. She is responsible for supervising staff on the weekends, of course. Uh, she is also responsible for ensuring smooth flow of patients, handling any problems, whether it's um, you know any patient problems, handling employee problems, being a resource, a clinical resource, and then you know she provides man management support when the office is closed for the employees, and she also tracks scheduling and ensures that the patients are seen as scheduled on the weekends. I thought of Marsha because I think she embodies all of our values. Um, she is highly accountable. She has um, the teamwork that she displays. She has made it so much easier on our supervisory staff who not only had to work during the week, but they had to work every third weekend. Um, so you were, it, it was just a tremendous burden that she's lifted from other staff. She is compassionate towards patients, but she's also compassionate towards the employee. However, she's consistent. So that consistence that she's brought um, displaying our values as she deals with both patients and staff um, is what brought her to my mind uh, to nominate her for this. Um, I've received emails from her at 2 in the morning as she's following up on things. It's very common that she goes above and beyond. She also um, is into team building and team bonding um, with her weekend staff and she will host breakfasts for them. She is very involved in charity events and trying to get uh, Brooks employees involved in charity events and the latest one was Cecil Short's backpack um, and so she's, um, she's developed that and, and we have a lot of supplies that we're sending out to needy kids. Marsha provides service above and beyond and the continual knowledge that she has. She is constantly um, looking for new and better ways to do things, including the use of technology. Marsha is very proactive in using technology to educate 
um, to um, find better ways and more efficient ways to do things um, in the nursing profession. Marsh has brought a whole new meaning to, to teamwork within Brooks Home Care Advantage. Another great thing that Marsha does is she keeps us all happily fed at the office. She's always bringing baked goods, brownies, cookies, cake. At Christmas time, she wants to bring Christmas cheer or holiday cheer into the staff at the office, so she always brings a big tray. She's just very uplifting and um, she does all these things for us in the office just, and, and works the weekends and is a very active mother. We have been successful at BHCA in a lot of areas and Marsha is a huge part of that. Marsha Moore, you're a star. Angela Morgan is an inpatient physical therapist on the orthopedic program and has worked there for the past two and a half years. She's not only one of our top physical therapy performers, she's also a key asset to our program. She serves as our MPT specialist and our certified peer mentor. Angela has an unrelenting passion toward working with the MPT population, which fuels her drive for continuous program de development across the hospital, through the system, and into the community. Some qualities that Angela exhibits that make her a star are her never-ending positive attitude and passion for working with patients. Um, she goes above and beyond for her patients and her peers and isn't afraid to take on new challenges. She's a natural leader uh, that serves as a mentor for both nursing and therapy staff across the system and through the hospital. Being an amputee herself, um, she is an amazing inspiration and motivator to her patients. I was lucky enough to meet Aunt Angela for the first time when she started working at the SNU, and she did some leadership over there, and then once I got to know her, we were lucky enough that Dr. Weiss wanted to move her to the inpatient hospital to develop our MPT program because she had such an amazing passion for it. Um, once she moved over there, we, we started seeing the glimmer of her amazing attitude toward working with this population. and. Just recently, we were amazed and excited to, to receive a patient from Fort Lauderdale. That's been an amazing challenge for her. Um, this patient began as not being able to, to get up and move. He was a bed bound for the first couple of weeks. She got him on a tilt table. She got him moving um, to the point where now, just recently, I talked to them yesterday, and the patient is now walking and has walked um, a good 30, 40 feet, and he is a hemipelectomy. So, um, this was a huge win for Angela and I'm extremely proud to, to know that she, she worked so hard with him and he's gotten so far. Angela is a spitfire. She's one that will go to the edge of the earth for you. She is, um, she's boisterous. She is amazing with her patients. She is one that um, is very outgoing and very passionate about making sure her patients get what they need. She comes in early, she works late. Um, everybody that I know enjoys working with her, whether it be nursing, therapy, peers, um, staff, families. I get numerous star cards up from her patients and her peers saying how amazing she is. I can't tell you how many wow um, pins I've given her <laughs> in their honor. Angela embodies the mission, vision, and all our values here at Brooks and truly deserves to be celebrated as a star this evening. Angela, you are a star. So Bob MacGyver is the center manager for the Neuro Recovery Center and the Motion Analysis Clinic here at Brooks. Um, his responsibilities include the day-to-day -day operations of those clinics, everything from staffing to ensuring that documentation is done properly um, to making sure that our patients get the best care possible. So the thing that sets Bob apart as a star is his innovation. Uh, so it's funny, when Bob first started at Brooks, his last name is MacGyver and there was a lot of jokes about how was he similar to the 90s TV star of MacGyver. And at the time I would have said no, but now several years later I would completely say yes. 
uh, because MacGyver could take a battery and a paper clip and a, a rubber band to get himself out of a tough situation, but Bob can take an $18,000 piece of equipment like a lower extremity bio nest and create a completely new way to treat a patient. In fact, he's created new ways to utilize equipment that the engineers, the people that developed the equipment, and the representatives that rep that equipment have no clue that it can be used that way. So it's fun to watch, walk into the Neuro Recovery Center because every time when you do, you'll see new and innovative ways of, of ways to treat patients. Um, and his team pick up on that and his team then also treat patients in really innovative ways. And I think that that's what really sets Bob apart and it allows him to really um, utilize that innovation to treat our patients and give them the best care possible. So another way that Bob uh, demonstrates innovation is the fact that we are he's constantly adding new programs to the Neuro Recovery Center. So we ne he never sits back and says, oh, we shouldn't offer this to a patient or we shouldn't offer that to a family. He's always thinking about how's a different and innovative way that we can um, meet their needs, uh, whether that's offering nutrition counseling or whether it's offering personal training. You know, he's always able to come up with those new and innovative ideas to keep the Neuro Recovery Center fresh and keep the patients engaged. What I think Bob's employees would say about him uh, is that he is really uh, fun to work around, that he is always um, thinking about the patients and always helping them think about how they treat the patients and how they can do it better. I think that um, he always appreciates their hard work and that he knows that without the solid team that he has, he wouldn't be able to do what he does on a daily basis. Bob, you're a star. Nancy is a contract analyst in the managed care department. Um, the, the most outstanding feature about Nancy is her passion for excellence and her uh, absolute dedication to teamwork and helping her uh, fellow teammates here at Brooks. Examples of Nancy's teamwork are uh, everywhere we look. I mean, she is, she's uh, been a constant uh, helper here in putting together the, the management retreat, helping with Celebrate the Stars celebration. Nancy uh, single-handedly handedly took on the um, Compliance 360 project, has become the expert in Compliance 360, and is, uh, as a part of her teamwork, she's going around and helping to train others in the use of Compliance 360. Um, Nancy, the, the ones that she exhibits the most is pretty much all of them, but really accountability, teamwork, a passion for excellence. Um, one of the things about Nancy is it's never about her, it's always about Brooks, and um, she always takes responsibility for whatever's in front of her and goes the extra mile to make sure that it's done. One of the, the, you know, to work here at Brooks, it's a great a joy and honor and a privilege. And one of the reasons that it is such a, a privilege is to work with people like Nancy Glazier. Nancy uh, brings a passion to the job that uh, I see in very few, uh, very few others. She um, brings great credit upon herself and the managed care department and Brooks uh, through her everyday actions and the way she performs her duties. In this, in this position that Nancy has, she has a, covers a wide range of uh, items that are necessary in order for Brooks to get paid. She makes sure that all of our, uh, our entities, our hospital, our outpatient division, uh, and others are credentialed through, with the various uh, payers. Nancy uh, loads every managed care contract we've got into, into Compliance uh, 360. She maintains uh, fee schedules, making sure that all of our business offices know what we're supposed to get paid whenever a, a rate change occurs. And she also uh, helps on a, just on a day-to-day -day basis with any type of issue that comes up with any of our payers, either government or commercial. Another thing I'd like to say about Nancy is that uh, both Nancy and I are retired military. I'm retired Army after 20 years, Nancy's retired Navy after 24 years, and together we make a great combined arms team. Nancy, you're a star.
Edith is our manager of employee development, and in that, her job is to help people become the best they can be both professionally and personally inside Brooks and in their home life and in the community. You know, I could go on and on because I've known Edith for, for many years and we've touched uh, lives before we came to Brooks, so I could tell you a lot about Edith, but what I really want to do is tell you what other people have said about her who've nominated her. So here's some few of the things that they've said. Anyone that's had any interaction with Edith has walked away feeling delighted. She embodies what an engaged, forward-thinking Brooks employee should be. Somebody else said, I've seen her put aside other tasks and take on more than she had to do. But she did them because she knew it was the right thing to do. She looks to engage people to understand how their own skills can be used to build others up and provides the tools and support to put those plans in place. Edith has given me the courage and the opportunity to take on my own ideas and facilitate relationships and make me successful. Somebody else said that if you actually look up the word compassion, which they did in the dictionary, you'll see Edith Cat's name and picture and that wonderful smiling face right next to it. Edith is such an asset to Brooks and the organization. She taught me how to become a better leader and has exemplified those throughout her leadership classes as well as outside of class. She demands consistent and high standards of professionalism and has a great love for Brooks. She has helped mentor me to be the nurse that I am today, not only through the Leadership Challenge and the Seven Habits courses, but through all of our hallway communication and corporate get-together meet and greets. Edith does not only focus on your Brooks leadership development, she's also developing you as a person. Another person said she's wonderful, passionate, considerate, a mentor, a collaborator, and a team builder. She's always patiently encouraging us to challenge the current process, take initiative to think outside the box, and truly drive change and with substantial projects. Edith also has time for everyone, always, and she makes us have deep discussions with her. So tonight I want to do something different to recognize Edith. What I'd like is that everybody who has been touched by Edith, either in a class or in a hallway conversation or perhaps on the phone, that has really changed because they become a better leader, a better co-worker, a better professional, maybe a better family member. What I'd like you to do is think back and I'd like you to stand up to honor Edith and how she has changed your life or touched your life for the better. And I mean it. I want everybody who has been touched by Edith to stand up and recognize her. Really, that means you. I need you, Brian. Russ, I need you. Pat, please stand up. Everybody help me honor Edith. Edith, you're our superstar. Congratulations to all of our honorees. We're so excited to be here with you tonight and celebrate this, this achievement. It, uh, this Celebrate the Stars Award is really so special. It reflects that you're one of the best of our best, going above and beyond and, and living our values. So we're so proud of you. Thanks for all your hard work and dedication and we look forward to this night and to the future. So keep up the great work and we look forward to the future.